Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here in Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm RJ. I wanted to start off this episode here at the casino for a little March Madness. Man, it has been widely reported that they would add this thing to the game for a long time. Unfortunately, we still do not have access to the casino. We can't play poker, blackjack, or any of the things that we could do in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So it definitely makes sense for Rockstar to add that same gameplay here to GTA 5 because that would add so much, especially to GTA Online. To be able to play all of those things with your friends would definitely be pretty sick. And I think because this location is so huge, they do have to add it at some point. It's almost a troll at this point that it says opening soon on the front. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now I do got to tell you guys, there's a special event going on right now in GTA Online. So make sure to take advantage of that because it could be priming us for a new expansion or DLC to hit the game here in March. And maybe that will involve adding access to the casino. But right now you do have the Versus Missions Week. That'll give you double GTA cash and double RP, something you certainly want to take advantage of. Now, it also has 50% off of the flight gear, 25% off of combat choppers, as well as private jets. And considering everybody in GTA Online wants their own combat chopper and private jet, this is probably a good time to uh, go ahead and make that purchase. So that will go until March 10th. A lot of people think that maybe March 11th is the date where this new DLC or expansion will hit Grand Theft Auto 5. So I think it should be sometime between March 11th and March 15th, perhaps March 14th. Now, uh, one expansion we did get was the Lowriders. And keep in mind, they did say that there was going to be a Lowriders Part 2, which means Lowriders Part 2 could very well be... The, uh, the big March expansion that gets to the game. That wouldn't be too bad, just because getting all these different lowriders, different aspects, you know, hydraulics and all that, that's pretty sick. And that's definitely something we want to do here in GTA Online, especially here in single player GTA 5. I was a huge fan of GTA San Andreas. I talk about that game all the time. You know, there's so much you could do in that game that they stripped from us when they released GTA 4. Simple things like flying a jetpack, having hydraulics on your car, they just took out for no reason at all. I never really got that. And adding the Lowriders package to me just reminds me of that game, GTA San Andreas. And hopefully it's a sign that they are going to add some more stuff from that game, if you know what I mean. So, possibly March 14th, the big DLC is it going to be single player? We've covered here on the channel that they've made so much money on GTA Online with what they call microtransactions that they might not really have a need to add this, this new single player DLC that we all covet. If they just keep releasing these special events and uh, big expansion packs, you know, new vehicles, all that stuff that we do like to get. Of course, they did add the heists. To GTA Online that was a mega expansion for free so maybe it's something on that level but we do expect it just to be some more vehicles perhaps a few more guns that sort of thing if it is a single player DLC the one thing that I think would make a ton of sense that I would really want in fact I think everybody would want it is if they added more heists I think that is one of the best parts of GTA 5's gameplay you know just adding those heists we saw it a little bit in GTA 4 especially with that big bank heist that happened in that game but they just took it to a new level here in GTA 5 so they went ahead and they added the heist to GTA online you know everybody loved that well still when you play through single player doing those heists were probably the funnest thing to do in the entire campaign so all they would have to do is add more heist missions to the game you know guys i mean that's something that i think everybody would want hopefully it wouldn't take too much effort we're not really asking for more locations anything like that but they could add heist missions and really it wouldn't even bother me too much if those heist missions were the same exact ones they added to gta online especially considering one of those in gta online gives you access 
to the Hydra. And that's something I really want here in single player. I just want access to the Hydra. So if they did that via a heist mission, maybe that's the reward for getting the heist. I don't want any cash at all. So what they could do is just give us the Hydra free access in our hangar. You know, of course, that is something we would all take gladly as a reward. Just give us the Hydra. It's already in the damn game for fuck's sake. Everybody just was was so happy when the game first came out. When you get to that first heist mission, you realize just how serious it is. You know, just all of these heists that continue through the game. And to me, it almost goes by too quickly. It's just, you, you always wish there was more. It leaves you wanting more. And I think that would be the major single player DLC. I think everybody would pay for that just to give us more heist missions to plan out. You have all of the, all of the prep to do and then getting to do something here at one of the locations, one of the many locations that is completely untapped. You do have the Humane Labs mission, of course, in GTA Online. So it'd be great to do something more here in single player, but there's a lot of locations that you don't do anything. I think even a place like the stadium, you know, if you have some sort of a big game going on at the stadium, maybe you break in, steal some of the uh, the athletes' cars, some of their, their jewelry, that would be pretty cool. We need more heists added to the game. Of course, we got them in GTA Online, but we want some more heists in single player because I believe that is the best part of GTA 5, the heists. And uh, finally, I did want to give an update on Red Dead Redemption 2. Guys, I've been hearing so many rumors that they will definitely announce Red Dead Redemption 2 at or near E3 2016, probably right there at the mega event. So that's pretty cool. The fact that we predicted it and we've heard some things about it and now it's just starting to get more and more popular. Everybody wants Red Dead Redemption 2. And if they did go ahead and announce that, it would be so hyped. In fact, it'd be hilarious if they announced Red Dead Redemption 2 at the same time as a new Skyrim, of course, a new Elder Scrolls game, because those games would be so highly anticipated. We really need a game like Red Dead Redemption to bring us into the environment. We have a game like GTA 5 where it can suck you in and there's so much to do. It really reminds you of, of real life in a lot of ways. But when it comes to Red Dead, when you're controlling a cowboy, you have to ride on a horseback from location to location and just live like an old timey cowboy or settler. That's something that we need here in this generation of gaming. I feel like that would be the pinnacle of a way to bring us into the next gen. Obviously, we have all these games now that were released for both consoles. There's nothing different between a game on the Xbox One and the Xbox 360, as well as the PS3 and the PS4. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, was, which gives us a lot of possibilities, you know, survival, so much wilderness, animals. There's really uh, nothing else that could be like that. And hopefully Rockstar just takes it to the next level and does it justice. Let me know what you guys think as Red Dead Redemption 2 seems to be a sure thing at this point. I've heard so many stories, so many rumors about it that I think we're definitely going to get it. I'm super hyped up for E3 23 or 2016. Hopefully we get that announcement as well as a damn DLC announcement here in GTA 5. Of course, March Madness is gonna bring us some pretty epic things to the game. We'll see what we get. Thanks again for joining up for the episode. Hopefully we'll be playing some poker together here in GTA 5 very soon. And even more importantly, hopefully, we'll be taking over the casino and stealing all of their money together. I'll catch you guys very soon. Until then, as always, stay trippy, my friends.